Here is an example using a three uh, variables to explain partial correlation. And here I have three uh, variable, random variable, x, y, z. And I generate using this topology with y as the middle in the uh, basically the x z interaction is mediated by y. So here's how I generate in R. Uh, X is the uh, R norm with a random variable from normal distribution. And this is uh, generate about 10,000 uh, random numbers. And then Y uh, is specified by X with some random noise. So random noise will uh, also, goes here to x, <coughs> and then z is uh, determined by y, and also with some random noise. And if we run linear regression, uh, pairwise linear reg regression, we will find. Uh, x, y, y, z, and x, z, they are all significantly correlated. Now based on the uh, linear correlation, we are not sure whether actually there is a direct uh, correlation between x and z, but using a uh, multiple regression, and then we can address this question, uh, whether they there is a direct correlation between x and z. So here is, uh, in R we can use the uh, LM function again with both x and y uh, regressed to z. And then the key is to look at the p-value for every, uh, for all the factors in the regression, the variables in the regression. So this is a p-value partial uh, correlation of between x and z. So this p-value, 0.3 and 5, is a p-value between x and z. And the second p-value is a correlation between z and y. So basically, uh, when y is controlled, this is what we mean, when y is controlled, the uh, cor correlation between z and uh, x is not significant, but when x is controlled, the correlation between y and z is still highly significant. And we can actually, uh, using a different way to look at this, uh, <coughs> So what do, do we mean when y is controlled? There's no correlation between x and z. So basically y is kind of bell-shaped distribution here. And when y is controlled, basically, and we take a thin slice uh, of y and then look at the correlation uh, between x and z. So to do this, I uh, basically uh, take a thin slice of the y uh, in the entire uh, spreadsheet. So here I take a, a thin slice of y between uh, less than 0.03 and greater than uh, minus 0.03. So basically there is minus 0.03 and there is a positive point Oh, three. That's a thin slice. Up to, <coughs> and then the x and z, we do a, a regression between x and z. This is a subset of the original spreadsheet. And in fact, if you look, if we look at the histogram, this uh, uh, we will see the uh, y now is almost a, a uniform distributed between x and z since it's so thin. But this time, if we look at the, the this subset, it, there are so things we can consider 
the y here is almost uh, like a constant. We can just consider y is a constant here. And when y basically, when y is constant, and then we look at a, a correlate between z and x. And this time, the p-value is not significant. And that's just another way to look at the uh, multiple regression. Basically, uh, the correlation, we also call it correlation between x and z conditioned on y. And in this case, we do not see a correlation between x and z. This correlation does not exist. And that's the entire article to run this. I said a random number. Uh, I said that the seed of random number. So every time you run the random number generator, it gives the same result. And well, the technique is I used to uh, put this into a data frame. So when we take out the thin slice of y, then x and z can be uh, uh, generated into a subset, and then run the linear regression. Like